equals three studios. Thank you guys so much for sending feedback, suggestions, comments, all that stuff. I'm still reading it. Uh, and don't forget to keep giving me suggestions because, right, I can only get better. I mean, I hope. Okay, so I have the most amazing dog in the world. His name is Neptune. This dog is also incredible, and I kind of wish Neptune could do what he does. The video got over one and a half million views in a week. I don't even think that's enough. With skills like that, I have to assume this dog has worked with Jackie Chan. Jackie, wait for me. I recovered the stolen Frisbee. And these owners must have known what was coming because they're right there prepared with the camera. How many other amazing feats has this dog survived just to get a Frisbee? And the dog's totally fine. Not even phased by what happened. Talk about a singular focus. If I had that much focus, what are we talking about? That dog is so determined. I mean, I don't know what could break its focus. That fence could have been covered in bees, barbed wire, fire. Aliens could have been shooting lasers at it, and he still would have got over it. <laughs> yeah, or that. Thanks, graphics guy. Now, some of you might be making excuses for the dog, like, oh, he can't see very well. He didn't see the fence was the same color as the grass. Wrong. That dog just doesn't give a fuck about anything besides its frisbee. Can you imagine being so obsessed with something? Like one singular thing, person, place, animal. Okay, real cold graphics guy. Raise your hand if you like air shows. We should all be raising our hands because this video got almost four million views in a week. This just seems like a normal day at the beach, but it turns into a whirlwind of a good time. Holy crap! Did you guys see that guy's sunburn? Come on, put some sunscreen on. Skin cancer, it's real. Ozone layer, depleting. Oh, right. And there were like eight canopies and umbrellas like flying around. Check it, the plane that just flew by is an F-18 Hornet. It can fly just under Mach 2, which is about 1,400 miles per hour, which can create a bit of a breeze. You can tell this video was shot in the South because when the people stuff goes flying, they're just cheering and happy about it. They're happier to have seen this demonstration than caring about their stuff. If this happened to people in LA, they would be losing their minds. I just breathed in those jet fumes and I don't think they're organic. That plane got sand in my kale chest. Oh, that umbrella was Gucci. This plane is part of the Blue Angels and the US Navy uses them for community and public outreach. I mean, they're definitely reaching the public but I kind of don't think that's what they meant. If you really think about this video, it's a total sneak attack. This guy's got the crowd's attention with his cool moves. And then bam, the second plane just swoops in and fucks shit up. Bam, motherfucker! Sorry about your shit. These planes remind me of that movie with that Maverick guy. Gone with the Wind? No. Perfect Storm? No. Uh, wind of the Willows? That wasn't it. Oh yeah, Top Gun, too, with Jackie Chan. And me, Neptune was there too. <laughs> Have fun with that graphics guy. Every time, he's so good, they're so good. Here's a classic example of a how to and a how not to show off your SWAT skills. Killing it? Killing it! <laughs> Killed. Ooh, totally kidding, he didn't die, but that's definitely gonna leave a mark. So apparently these guys are all part of the SWAT team in Durango, Mexico, and they're taking part in a parade doing a bit of a tactical demonstration. And that guy at the end definitely could've used some tact in his demonstration or a crash pad. So you can see how the first guy places his hand on the rope to control his speed on the descent. And that second guy, he just did not get the memo. I mean, he went down fast. Like he was real excited to go down. Didn't even hesitate. Just like every guy I've ever brought home, boom. Oral sex joke. I would hate to see this guy in a real emergency situation. I mean, maybe that's why there's so much crime in Mexico. These cops need to spend more time on training and less time on corruption, okay? I'm totally kidding. Obviously, this cop is not corrupt. I mean, who would want him? Look at him, he's a liability. Honestly, I feel bad for the guy. I mean, that hit was hard, and I'm sure he was just trying to impress somebody. Mom, look at Batman! Oh, shit! And I didn't know that crash looked really hard, but there were rescue workers on the ground, and though he did suffer injuries, he's gonna be totally fine. In the meantime, they're gonna need someone to fill his spot. Someone just as intense and just as focused. I think I know someone for the job. That's my time. Don't forget to check out the full videos. The links are in the description below. If you guys see any videos this week that you love, link it below. I read all the comments. And my name is Kaja Martin, and I approve this message.
Okay, so this question comes from Before Time 272. The question is, how did you decide to name your dog Neptune? Uh, great question. Well, I was hanging out with my friends in my house, and I was throwing out names like Franklin. Everybody would be like, great, we can call him Frankie or Thomas. Oh, we can call him Tommy. And everybody kept wanting to call him these nicknames. And I was like, no, if I'm going to name my dog something, I'm, I'm going to name it that. I'm not going to call it by a nickname. And so then finally, I was like, uh, what about Neptune? And everybody was like, what? we can call him Neptune. I was like, yes, done, delivered, sold. His name is Neptune. So if you have any questions for me about myself or if you have any nicknames for my dog Neptune, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, hit me with your best shot, yo. Thank you for watching this Equals 3 Studios production. To watch another episode, click here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And now, I sleep. <laughs>